All right, you're watching TVC Breakfast. The holidays are over and uh, gradually winding down and soon schools will resume. In Lagos, private schools will resume for the second term on Monday, January the 6th. While this might be exciting news for some children and not so exciting for many others, for parents it is nothing short of hectic and chaotic. Now, beside this thought of school fees weighing in on their minds, there are necessary items that must be purchased to ensure children are ready for resumption. And these places all kinds of pressure on parents, especially those who spare little or no thought for the new year and its expenses during the Yuletide. How best can parents really prepare financially, emotionally and mentally for all of this? All right, we have joining us now Ronke, Ronke Adeni, Director, La Poche School. And he's, he's just here with us to uh, give us insight into what it takes to prepare for the resumption. Now, Happy New Year. Nice Happy to see New you. Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thanks for having me. Very good. Now, it is said, some people have said that the, the fear of January is the <laughs> beginning of uh, the spending <laughs> at Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Now, talk to us about this. The part, you, we've often heard people talk about the fact that if you're spending for Christmas, get ready for resumption in January. Mm. Should, really peop should people really be scared of January? No, if you're organized, if you've planned, okay. then you shouldn't be scared. Okay, there should be that condition anyway. Yeah, mm. yeah because it's not a surprise. Okay. We all know that January will come. We'll we all know come. that December is going to be here. <laughs> uh, 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 then again, one would say that even as much as you want to uh, plan towards it, you mm. have these kids do not really understand. And so you everything, when it comes to the Christmas, uh, all the celebration, you have to get all of these things. How do parents put all of this together and, show, and ensure proper planning mentally and financially you know i keep telling people that this christmas buying of sh and shopping it's something that people have adopted do you really have oh, to it's do an it adoption. yeah it is you don't even buy the um, present for the celebrant which is jesus you keep <laughs> on buying you buy for the children you buy for everybody else but really it's how you train your children mm. if you train them to have an hundreds of presents at Christmas, then so be it. That would be your family culture and mm. you would have to subscribe to it and keep doing it or you break the pattern. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The you moment you start, <laughs> you yeah. don't feel so you be careful what you, you start. Be careful what you start okay. with because do you really have to do all that shopping? Is a, bo a box of chocolate or a little Barbie doll not enough? Mm. But when they see their um, other mates have wearing these clothes and they come crying oh. to their parents, and, and parents are tempted to so uh, make them feel like the feel, others yes. too, you know that kind of e thing. Every day is Christmas, and every day should be special. Oh. Now, and you must teach your children contentment. My daughter didn't get a new Christmas dress, not because we couldn't afford it, but to be honest, I think it's overrated. We don't really celebrate oh. what it really is. She's fourteen, and really. Hmm. I don't wear new Christmas clothes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not. I did as I did as a child growing up. Hmm. My parents bought us the hats, the socks, the everything. But I grew, grew up and I didn't want to repeat the pattern. It's just too stressful hmm. for me anyway. Hmm. Just trying to get all these things organized. By all means, if you like it, please do it. Hmm. But if it's going to be a problem and it's causing a pressure on rent and school fees, then you might have to rethink. All right, L let's get into the school issues now. H how how what should parents look to? Uh, in the, at the resumption time like this. Mm -hmm. So I keep telling people, if you fail to plan, you plan to mm -hmm. fail. Mm -hmm. So you need to start planning now. So we're going back to school on Monday. Are the shoes ready? Is the uniform ready? The water bottle? The school bus? The school fees? No, yes. Is it ready? Are you mentally ready? Are the affirmations ready? Are the, is the homework ready? Was there a project? Was there a book to be read? All these things you need to put pen to paper. We use a board in our house. We put everything. We list it and we take it off. What are the things mm -hmm. that we ought to be doing? Because mm -hmm. I keep saying there is... These are not surprises. So you need to plan ahead so that everything goes seamlessly. You're gonna start waking up early. So why don't you start waking up now? Mm -hmm. So tomorrow is Saturday, why don't you set the alarm for six o'clock or seven o'clock or whatever time it is, mm -hmm. so that the child and the, or the children can start getting into the habit. And even you, the parents, start getting organized. Can the water go into the fridge now? Can just those little things, sandwiches, little things be done now to prevent that chaos and shouting and smacking oh, yeah. that happens <laughs> oh, yes. when the school you runs. You can say that no again. No smacking, <laughs> no smacking. <laughs> All right. The, the, there'll be time for us to talk about the cost of, uh, you know, school materials and all of that. But let's leave you here for now. Mm. Ronke Adini, thank you so much for coming thank on you. the program. Yeah. We'll talk about lifting off the pressure of, for parents not to feel the pressure of resumption. How should they go about it? Planning. Parents need to plan. Um, they need to be organized and they need to stick to their budget. Um, you shouldn't um, 
try and copy other people and do what other people are doing. So while some people might have or have borrowed the money for the excesses, <laughs> 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 please don't do that. Um, and we need to use this time to um, ensure our children have values and part of the values is, um, they should have is contentment mm -hmm. and not necessarily want, wanting to um, conform and have what other people have. But mm -hmm. the, the point is sometimes the parents are the ones who even introduce these the ideas to the children who, who are innocent, who don't know anything. It is yeah. the way mommy and daddy brings it and yeah. they see. Yeah. You know. But, but how I talk to us, now it is said that when it comes to school materials, mm -hmm. from books to pencils to all sorts of textbooks and all of that at this time the, the price seemed to uh, you know increase why is that well it increases but the good thing is january is actually second term and um, our projections should have started from september last year okay so um when you're buying books you shouldn't really be buying a lot of books now they should have been bought in the first term and um again it's always planning mm. there are no surprises so like you said we know that the books and the stationery is going to be expensive mm. now so why haven't we bought them Mm. All right, you talked about something that I'd like for you to expatiate on, which has to do with building values mm -hmm. in children, mm -hmm. especially contentment. Mm -hmm. But we also know about peer pressure, mm -hmm. no matter how small a child is. Mm -hmm. How do you shield your child from all of this? Because they move out. Yeah, so you can't shield your child, but you can train your child mm -hmm. at home to be content with what they have. Mm -hmm. That's where it starts from. And if you as a parent are not content with what you have, you really can't give what you don't have. So all those value systems needs to start from the home. So somebody has a new bag from London and you have an old bag from last term, is it going to make you less of a human being? So we need to begin to train so our it's, children. So it's basically your state of mind. Yes, okay. it is. Because in this world, there would always be somebody that has something more than you, of as an course. adult or as a child. Mm -hmm. Even if you buy the bag from London, you will find somebody that will buy one that you've not seen before. <laughs> There's always going to be someone better. So how are you, are you going to keep on with this race? It's got to stop. At what point do you begin to train children to learn co contentment? As, as soon as the child is able to under comprehend things. So as, as young as even 18 months, two, two years old, so they want this sweet because another child has that sweet. You know, little things, they start as early as that. See, a lot of bad behavior we see in adults today actually started as children. Mm -hmm. they, 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 jealousy, envy, pepe dem gang, all those things, <laughs> it actually start as, they started as children. So we must ensure that we don't raise children to um, want to copy and um, envy other people. We shouldn't. Talk to us about uh, home assignments and projects for children or students at Christmas. This, this period of time, a lot of uh, parents feel that uh, you know, projects shouldn't be given to children because they might be busy for the, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with the celebrations and so on. Mm. See, and if you don't give them those projects, th some, those the same parents will complain. Yeah. Whilst uh, at La Poche we do not give them projects, they, they should read. We encourage them to read. So homework, it's if, so when you go to a school, you don't just register a child. You need to have expectations. So if one of the things that they offer in the school is to have homework at Christmas time, they need to make time for it, yeah. either at the start of the holiday or towards the end, to ensure that that child catches up mm. with whatever it is. It may be online or maybe they are... Um, projects that is like you said that they need to do yeah. parents have to support the children and not go to school ourselves fighting and making excuses yeah. like oh. they like to do all right thank you so much for coming on tvc breakfast thank you so much thank you we have joining us now ronke adini director <laughs> la posh schools here in lagos it's nice to have you join us you have to la emphasize posh. <laughs> <La posh. laughs> it's really interesting la posh is french isn't it it is french and the, uh, it's posh posh as it means posh yeah 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 all right now now talk to us from the window of what you how you you know prepare kids in, in, in the in, in La Poche, mm -hmm. making them posh in their values and all of that. Mm -hmm. What what is unique about the way you approach those things from other schools? Um, what is unique um, now are things that are actually dying okay. in the in the society. Mm -hmm. So simple things like greeting oh. is dying. You'd find that a lot of children don't um, spontaneously greet elders anymore. Mm -hmm. So you can't even get through the school gate. If you can talk and you're neurotypical, you mm -hmm. must greet right from security. So that's very important. You must talk in sentences. So you'd find you'd say to a child, um, how are you today? Fine. How old yeah. are you? Nine. Um, exactly. Oh yeah. Have you eaten? Yes. Yes. <laughs> even, <laughs> even to their parents. So um, 
we, we en en ensure that they are speaking in sentences. Mm -hmm. And we make sure that we go over and beyond um, academic work. We embrace a lot of technology and etiquette points. Before you go ahead, important. talking about speaking in sentence, why is that important? <laughs> it's just better for them to speak in sentences. Okay. Um, you can't say you're posh and you're just, uh, how are you? Fine. Yeah. You know, it just doesn't work that way. You it's, need to express you yourself. Need to express, okay. You need to articulate yourself mm. properly at all times. So we always emphasize on um, uh, proper uh, speech and some diction. Some would say that uh, charity begins at home. Mm -hmm. So talk to us about the role of parent, parents and how you're working closely with parents to ensure mm. this. So uh, like I um, say, um, the parents we have and the parents we like to enroll are the parents that want to align with the values of the school. So if you're not one of those parents that, you know, we have parents that go to school and fight them. When you have a, an issue at La Poche, we expect that you come to the office and you have a discussion. You know what our values are. You know that this respect and greeting, integrity, you are part of our value systems, and then you support it as mm -hmm. a parent. Now, what, one thing generally a lot of people talk about is the affordability of some of the private schools Very important. putting them side by side uh, with uh, the public schools. Talk to us from that window, really. Mm -hmm. I, was just <laughs> talking, I was just talking to uh, a couple of people at, at the back. Right, I, and I always say that the, public sector, the private sector is doing an amazing job considering how public schools have been neglected. However, there are private schools for 500 naira a day. Wow. Yes, they are private schools. They really? are private schools, registered as private schools. Wow. You can even, a, they even pay as you go private schools. Yeah. Pay as you yeah. go, yeah. really? Yeah. So there yeah. is room for wow, everybody. So you don't yeah. have to put your child in the one that costs a million a term. Okay. And if you can't afford the one that costs a million on, uh, a term, does not mean you should hate on the people that can. Mm. You just make your choices. There's something and, for everybody. <laughs> there's something for everybody. And please, plan those children. Don't just have them because school fees is expensive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she have to have that part. Oh, yes. <laughs> Very important. All right. Thank, thank you, you so, so much, much. Ronke Adini, for coming on the program. Thank, thank, you, thank you so you. much. Right.